member of Hertfordshire Geological Society and welcome to Berkhamstead. We're visiting one of the four sites that have been designated rigs within the Decorum Borough. We're on Castle Hill and we're looking at four handsome blocks of pudding stone and starson stone. We've also got a nice sign here being funded by the Curry Fund just detailing what people can see at this site. The most interesting block at this site is this one here which in which we can see the contact between the sarsen stone here that I'm tapping and the pudding stone beneath and we can see the gradation over a very short interval indeed and what we'll do now is take a closer look at the fabric of the pudding stone, the pebbles shape and size and the matrix. What is pudding stone? Well it's a sedimentary rock, a conglomerate and typically pretty well rounded and fairly poorly sorted. In this case, it's thought to be of marine origin, possibly a beach or a longshore drift deposit. And if we look closely at this specimen, we can see a black patina around the edge of some of the larger cobbles. Internally, they're typically red or orange, caramel, or coffee. And we've got some iron and limonite in the, stain, in the system represented by this staining up here on the left. The pebbles are material eroded out of the chalk. They've subsequently been deposited in an in environment, the origin, potentially beach or longshore drift deposits. And this was during either the formation of the Upmore Formation, the late Paleocene, or the Reading Formation in the early Eocene, about 56 million years ago. Shortly after deposition, silification took place in a terrestrial environment thought to be during humid subtropical climatic conditions when silica was mobilized and redeposited possibly formed in a soil within a soil profile these blocks extended up a sub paleogene erosion surface now exposed as a six degree dip slope of the chilterns these blocks have moved down the slope at castle hill from the plateau in the north to, into the Bullbourne Valley. Thank you for watching. More detail on this enigmatic rock can be found on the Hearts Geological website or within the pages of the Hertfordshire Geology and Landscape book edited by John Catt. Thank you.